all, this is uh, Cavalis here, and welcome to the Renowned Explorers. Let's just get right into it. And if you, as you see here, there's two game modes to the game. And the first one is Discovery Mode, which is what one could consider the soft core mode. Where you can just, basically, it's more of if you want to play the game. But we aren't going to do that. It's, it's for people who want to see the game. But we aren't going to do that. What we're going to do is the rogue, the, well, basically a roguelite experience, which is akin to FTL. And we're going to play it on Classic. Now, if you if you had been quick to notice in the main menu, uh, well, actually, that's not important right now. What is important is selecting the leader. So we've got Anna Prosecutor. I'm not going to try and say that so that way I don't offend anyone. Her Captain Perk is brilliant scientist, complete, basically completing research kits. Use gives it basically upgrades to your, the study token. We have Harry Harry Walker, who is his Captain Perk increases the treasure hunt rewards for gold by a hundred percent, fifty percent increase gold increase gold from encounter for Victor Signac, and then from Yvonne Lefe, Lefebvre, a plus one campaign when you solve an encounter devious. Bonus improves with each expedition complete. Now you're probably going like, wait, devious? And you may have also noticed on the side that there's, it's saying aggressive and or friendly. That's because in this game there's three ways you can complete your challenges. Which are either by talking, being friendly. Which is typically dip, basically diploma, dip, basically diplomacy, trickery, or just being crap out of everything. Now, since I'm not exactly sure who would be the best to go with, I'm think I think I'm gonna go with. Okay, I will say this: I have played this game before. Out of the uh, starting four, I only know how to deal with and the uh, prosecutor the Kava. So I'm gonna go with her. And we're gonna just take the recommended party, which is Dolores and Hattis. So Dolores Garcia, who is a, who is a defensive fighter with great armor and decent offenses, and Hattis Ataman, who is a glass cannon. There's also stuff like perks, like quick thinking. Now, oh, well, I I was gonna show you that uh, she had that Dolores had athlete and quick thinking, and then Anna had a naturalist. But I guess we'll just get right into it. I know how to play the game, but you'll pro probably get the gist of it soon enough. Basically, we have a set amount of supplies, which it required, is required to travel to each spot. And we have seven supplies, so we can basically move seven spots, or unless it says zero. So that would actually be the best place to go. First. A decorated entrance to a cave presents itself as you walk through these Scottish hills. It seems to be an old gambling paradise for miners who wanted other entertainment at night than that what their employer offered. The door is ajar. Open the door. You open the door and find a dusty and dilap dilapidated casino, including a roulette, black blackjack, and poker tickets. There's also a bar with scotch and a booth to exchange tokens. Search and take value. You collect. You take some loose money and some scotch, which together is certainly worth something. Great, continue. So, we got two collect tokens, which are worth 10 to 15 gold and give a small amount of renown. Now, okay. In this game, you pro there's also three major resources that you'll get, which are gold, status, and influence. It's not influence, research. God. Okay. 
A group of sea sheep is fighting to eat from a slightly greener patch of grass. It might be interesting to study this particular patch of grass. I don't want to continue exploring. Let's go! You approach the patch of grass, but the sheep see you as competition and start attacking you. Show your worth! So he... So combat plays out like a tactical RPG. And... And basically those are the... Up here is where the rewards for acting certain ways is. And by resolving it with devious, I will get a study token, which gives research. And that is what I'm going for, so it's worth doing this. <laughs> Despite it giving me a negative, because as you can see, there's, there's some, something sim akin to rock, paper, scissors up here, which currently makes it that way I have negative 30 speech defense, meaning that my people will take increased damage right now. Wait. I'm getting negative 25, not negative 30. Okay, whatever. <laughs> there are also various different emotions that you... Like, that... Are on each character's abilities. As you probably saw, Hatsis <laughs> had basically saddened the sheep. Well, Anna and Dolar has scared them. So Anna will scare the chief by talking about how it's gonna electrocute her. And it run is absolutely terrified of my crew. You, you broke your devious victory. You broke your opponent's mind. Results. One study token and two encounter tokens. Devious expedition. They ran away. Good. That leaves us with more energy to explore. Resolve the conflict devious. Only lasts for this exp expedition. Plus five grit, two plus two speech power. He successfully calmed down the sheep and can finally take a look at the grass. I wouldn't necessarily call scaring them shitless uh, calming them down, but whatever. Uh, after careful examination and some tests, it seems the grass contains some special nutrients that attract the sheep. You take some with you for their scientific value. Great! Continue! So now we have got an extra study token from that. Okay. As you walk along the hill, you come across a crossroads. You decide to follow one of the off-road paths for a while. Here you find a lot of sideways and crossings. The path sometimes contains Saxon, ancient Saxon tools, which you take with you. You eventually wind up at the same crossroad road as before. Continue on the main road. When you arrive at the next hill, you look back at the hill with the strange paths. You are astonished to see that those crossroads inside is are actually a giant Saxon hill cover. What a sight and what a story! Great, continue! So, from that we got a collect and a campaign token, which Campaign gives strictly influence, collect gives strictly gold, and site gives strictly research right now. Okay. Saxon Monastery. Halfway up a small mountain, the crew finds an old ruinous Saxon monastery. Many of the Saxon structures were made from wood and did not stand the test of time. A stone building such as this one is a treasure itself. Fortunately, it doesn't not fit in your backpack. Explore the monastery! As you approach the monastery, a strange-looking hooded man is standing in front of the monster. Well, hello there, travelers! Welcome to this old Saxon monastery. I came, I come here once a year to make some minor repairs and clean the place up a bit. It would be a shame if such a nice place went to waste. Saxon men used to come here to test their strength. The most skillful would be rewarded by Tyr, the god of war. All that is left is this heavy statue of Tyr the warriors would push and feel like a Saxon knight, and a trial in the monastery's basement that would test agility and attract noblemen with pretty rings. If you would like to test yourself, go ahead. Your performance might earn you something. Uh, I think Dora... Let's see what... 
You can do what with pushing the stat heavy statue of Tyr? You are standing in front of the heavy statue of Tyr. Who will try to prove themselves in somewhat rule? See what reward there is. It looks like our best bets would be to have Dolores try and push the statue since she has the best chance. Let's reconsider, go to the monastery basement. I think it would be better to have Haddis attempt the trial. Haddis, go! Haddis runs into the long room and notices that the trap is activated. Luckily, Haddis notices in time and skillfully dodges the trap. Trap. After which, the same thing happens again. Eventually, Haddis reaches the end of the room in the record time. When finally back with the hooded man, he says, Wow! That was impressive! Let me see how Tyr rewards you. And the man walks into a small room. Random reward. Chance, chances to receive something with the highest being a 66% chance of getting a Saxon ring. Let's go. The man walks out with a Saxon ring. Okay, so... Which was won by, no, by the noble man. Tyr has rewarded you, and I wish... You the best in your travels. Take it and leave the monastery. Gain a treasure, Saxon ring. Worth 25 renown and one insight. Plus one collect when spending insight with a level 2 tactician. No one here is a level 2 tactician. Okay, and plus 5 campaign tokens. You thank the old man and leave the monastery behind you, carrying the new treasure with you. Maybe I should have tried pushing that statue. Whatever. The crew suddenly gets ambushed by some aggressive looking men. These foreign fancy pants are going to stick on our jobs! Attack! They're charging! Stand your ground. So, resolving this aggressive will get me the best for all. Okay. What do you think? Yeah! <laughs> I mean, I, now that the, the mood's hostile, I do get that buff, but... Seeing as my scout can do really good amounts of damage. I'm gonna go with that. severely beaten. Either way, they got down with me. With the situation resolved, the crew can continue exploring. Emma is baffled by the fact that these men thought that shepherding or mining was of any interest here. Plus two study. And they can all level up, so before we move on, I'll take care of that. So taking engineering would increase attack by one and speech defense by two, while getting it, naturalist would increase speech defense by three. Currently, I have two naturalists. Yeah, I have no no engineering perk. I think I'll take an engineering perk. So, Anna is now a tinker. Dolores has the option of quick, unpredictable, and tenacious, since. Hedis is already already has the option of going quick reflexes and or an engineer, and I already have an engineer perk with Anna. I'm gonna grab just make Hedis the as just straight up a quick thinker. So quick thinker and right. Let's 
And then, anyways, I'm, I'm, I was just checking because some of these towns are different. And with uh, Dolores, she's going to be an athlete, and that increases her attack by two and her armor by one. Okay, let's go here. Normally you wouldn't be so excited about this, but you found an abandoned farm. The fields are overgrown with vegetables and even some fruit trees. You take some time to restock your supplies. Great. So we got 30 spare supplies, so we can go three more tiles. I'm just doing a quick time check. This is taking a bit longer than I thought it would. The rain is becoming unbearable, and the crew is looking for shelter. After searching for a while, a cave is found. Great, some shelter! The, the crew lays down the backpacks and makes a fire to dry their clothes. And for one, once the fire is blazing, the cave appears to be larger than it appeared in the dark. As you explore the cave, you notice lots of sacks and war equipment, including some skeletons. Probably have wounded soldiers that died in the cave. Focus on collecting valuable equipment or focus on collecting noteworthy equipment. I'm gonna get focus on collecting noteworthy equipment. While collecting some of the equipment, you notice some tactical plans written on the cave walls. Studying this will give you tactical defensive insight. Why would I choose to give, not to give someone the, that? I think I'll give uh, Dolores as the tactician, well, the defense perk. Dolores studies the defensive tactics of the Saxons intensively. Dolores gains the tactician defense perk. And now, come on, update. Okay. Two people are having a heated discussion as you walk by. One of them yells at you, Hey you! Hey! Yes you! We need your opinion on something. We are discussing what the best way is to solve problems. I'm convinced that using speech will solve any problem you can but this guy here thinks that using physical attacks is the way to go. Which do you think? If you choose me, I will teach you how to use speech more effectively on this side. If you choose him, he will do the same for attack. Eh, I think I'm gonna go with, go with speech. Excellent choice! Speech is always the better option. I will teach you, teach one of you, how to use speech more effectively on this island. Remember, these secrets only have effect on this expedition. I don't even know we're on the expedition. Anyways, uh, let's give Anna the speech. And it learns about the history and customs of the design, which will be very useful during challenges on this expedition. They will be useless on other expeditions. The crew is ready to continue. So she got a plus five speech bonus. Okay. You walk down a small path when you, you hear shouting and screaming coming your way. Two thieves are running from an angry mob. Since you are blocking the wet path, one of the thieves asks, Please, traveler, we have no time for you right now. If you let us through, we will give you some compensation. I don't feel- you, I'm not taking a bribe, it, it's just ten gold. You cannot be bribed! Stop the fee- the fee- ugh, I can't- English today! Okay, beat them up. Wait, why- what? oh god, oh god, oh- no. Okay, I did bad- I did bad stuff. Just for physical. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to be here. Probably better to do. Okay. okay, and you can use the friendly abilities on your allies to heal them. But that won't come into play as much right now. Ow! Snap there! This is why it was a bad tactical decision. Okay, move you over here and line up the shot. Take the shot! And y'all got y'all gonna die. We 
mainly because she's gonna taste you. Well, it's mostly that first arrow that got, got y'all. Not the first arrow with the piercing shot. What am I talking about? The angry mob finally catches us up to the fuse and see that you already took care. The mob thanks you and everybody now knows about your good deed. Great, continue. Plus one campaign. Okay, let's go here. You ascend the hill and walk past the magnificent grave. You read the stone. Here lies Bjorn Wolf of Mercia, King of Mercia. Under his reign, the Abbey of St. Peter was leaving. Bjorn Wolf met his fates at the hands of King Egbert's army in 18 826 AD. May Saint Oh, may, may Saint Peter watch over his soul. The grave of an old, uh, old king. Always an honor. The burial site of the Saxon kings must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. You can come back to this place when you are when you wish to continue. Are you ready to go? Yeah. I only have one supply, so not really anything I can do. The crew searches through the hills and quickly finds what they were looking for. The Saxon burial site! One of the tombs is of King Egbert, a particularly mysterious feat. Finding its secrets will surely skyrocket your reputation as the renowned ex at the renowned explorers. However, you hear a familiar laughter. <laughs> Behind you stands the French explorer Rivulus, who is considered to be the most promising of the renowned explorers. He speaks. Thank you, amateur. Under Rule 24B of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. And I really need to excavate King Egbert's team to gain another honorary title. Explain how you worked hard to get for this treasure. Review lots continues. It seems my explanation wasn't clear enough. Maybe my strong friend Tommy can explain this situation better. I wonder, well, I wonder King Egbert's team. Hey, wait a minute! Before Anna can stop Rivulux, his crew fighter, or, or Tommy, steps forward. No, oh, the old explorers beat it! He's not letting you pass. I think I went a little bit. I don't know. Okay. And you need to move. Because I need space first. <laughs> Plus, you can take that for now, but I mainly need to do this. Also, it would probably be best just to go physical since I can't do that. That's why I needed the space. It's because if Hadis is right next to someone, she can't use the perfect shot. So that's five down. No, oh, that's left is Tommy and one of his monsters. Okay. Doris! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, hey, I can move you one back and then shoot. Gotcha! 24 damage. He has 76 more health. damage to Dolores. She has those 56 health, so it's good. If, it's fine if he, they, he hits him. Hits Dolores. Let's get him. Ha! Oh! So how does experimentation? Gains 25 power each turn while off the down. So currently, it's just the same as a basic attack, so we might as well just take some Dolores being. Yeah. So he's down to 17. Oh god. Okay, good. He didn't wig out. So this turn, he's dead. Not dead. Not unconscious. 
Not everything dies. It's like an Indiana Jones thing. Me is impressed by your skill. Plus, you. Eh, whatever. Tommy is pretty impressed. Wow, you're pretty strong. If you can take on the mighty Tommy gun, take some gold in this checklist. It describes treasures you want to find here. I guess if you beat us to it, you deserve one as well. And he leaves to follow the Rivy Lux, who has already plundered King Ingrid's tomb and Lex. Plus, they collect. And all your crew members gain plus one attack, per, uh, one attack permanently. We have tons of money, warriors! Huzzah! The crew quickly turns to the mysterious checklist you got from the encounter. It seems to be some sort of a gender scheme. Anna takes it and reads it out loud. Treasure is still to grab. The one hidden in the tomb of the Forgotten King. That one treasure held by the locals. The one in the cache near the dangerous cliff. Due date today. It seems Rivulux was going to nab some more treasures. You might be able to get one before him. Which treasure are you going to chase? That tomb. There's another tomb around here. Maybe you can outsmart him this time. I'm not gonna try that. Second thought. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, that's really not worth trying. So, Cliff. Cliff's guaranteed. I'm gonna go for the cliff, because I don't want to screw it up. Dolores, go climb down the cliff! Searching every edge of the cliff was no easy task, but you did it. Dolores was the one to find a hidden cache at the bottom of a cliff mentioned on the checklist. It's so loaded with gold, and there's a peculiar treasure. Gain a treasure, Polyodor. Plus six collect, and bonus one collect. Plus 20 to 25 gold from treasure hunt. Plus one treasure hunt. A beautiful, flawless gemstone. A rarefied. Plus a 50 renown and one inside. You'll see what is done with inside. With this last find, your expeditions build concludes on a high note. However, it's clear that if you want to beat the most renowned explorer, you'll have to be beat Rivulux. Now it's pissed. Highlands explored! Aggressive. Treasures, Saxon Ring, and Hollyodor. Fourteen collect, one treasure hunt, twelve campaign for study, and nine encounters for a total of four hundred twenty-six gold, three hundred five status, twenty research, and one hundred sixty-three ring. And we have to get more than two thousand ring now if we want to be. Small discover. Interesting findings from some inspiration, inspiring upstart exploits. Exotic location uncovered in the Saxon Grave Islands by promising explorer Anna Proskiria Kava. Explorer Society board members are excited at the progress of this tyrant tycoon. A magnificent job! Board of the renowned explorers International Society is impressed by our exploration skills in the highlands. For this achievement, Chairman Pinkerton gives you an upgrade to your airship, which will, will care, allow you to carry more supplies. Great! Gain a, a treasure R-E-I-S upgrade badge. 50 Reno and one insight. You gain plus th you gain three supplies. Quite capacity. That's not ordered as well. Pinkerton tells you, We're pleased that you're aiming to become the number one explorer. However, I wonder if you can beat the already successful Rivulets. We hope that you will uncover many secrets in your end of endeavors. The Society has many leads as to where secrets may lie in wait. You can do four more expeditions before the most renowned explorer is elected. So make them count. Successfully complete expeditions to access your expeditions. Got it. You gather your thoughts to determine your course of action. One, spend your research on unlocking technology. Two, exchange your insight for other resources in the city. Three, spend your status to acquire an entourage. Four, spend your gold in shops. Five, go on more prestigious expeditions and repeat until. Six, 
You beat that French clown reveal. That seems to be all you need to do to become the world's most renowned explorer. Time to prepare for the next adventure. Attention, explorer. Having trouble figuring out what to do next? Click on the reference guide. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just do the preparations for the next. Because th these are probably gonna be long episodes. Relatively. So, we have access to preparation, the preparation tree, and the chronicle tree. Once, well, actually, I think I'll cut here. So, this has been the beginning of Renowned Explorers, International Society. So, goodbye for now. <laughs>